the average price of a ticket to a Robbie Williams concert is £30. Multiply that by 10,000 people a night and you need, well, a nerdy guy, someone like Tom Golset. My job on the tour is basically, uh, I'm the money babysitter. These tours make a lot of money. They take in a lot of money and they spend a lot of money. And my job is to be on site and make sure it doesn't get out of control on the spending side and make sure that we're not being stolen from on the income side. But it is a legitimate business that we're in. And I think if you had a business that was grossing a few million pounds a week easily, you'd want somebody there to make sure that it's being taken care of and being watched over. I kind of get off on the responsibility of that. But when I look at someone like Andy Franks, who has to manage all these people who are forgetting things, and he's arranging travel, and he has to do so many of these people details, I just thank God at the end of the day, I can put the computer away, I can put the money in a safe, and know that I'm going to probably make it through the night without anyone calling me. You've got, um, you've got 25 minutes. Uh, I am sweating because it's hot in here, but do you mind? They are naked and they leave the door open, you know? Well, I wish they had a different title for my job because everybody thinks I'm. Uh, they automatically think, oh, the accountant, the nerdy guy of the tour. But, uh, no, it's not, it's not terribly rock and roll, but you know, when it boils down to it, most of these people are out here to make money. As it happens, I've never slept with a man. I've never done anything with a man. You know, the thought has passed my mind, but it always stops at his bits. <laughs> it's like, mmm, ooh, ooh, bleh, ooh, you got one just like mine. Mine's horrible. You know, so you try everything once in life. I'm not discounting it, but um, it hasn't appealed enough for me to do it yet. last night that fuck all this being ace and being nice and spiritual and all that business I'm 27 and it's not uh, it's not against the law to have a shag <laughs> so I did and she was an absolute nutter okay. mm. yeah was it that one who's sitting in the bar yeah That's bless her she wanted me to be her boyfriend and it's funny because the madness that was going through her head. It was like, you know, you know I'm not after a girlfriend, don't you? No. You after a boyfriend? Yeah. Me? Why not? Oh. You. You. I don't want a girlfriend. Especially you, you nutter. I didn't say that, though. And, um,. Anyway, it's it's a madness that I'm quite attracted to. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> 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 Sorry, 
See, I've just started playing the guitar. I was trying to learn Norwegian Wood the other night, and it just came out as... Which is not Norwegian Wood, obviously, but it just sounds really nice. And it's weird what you, what you find when you're um, mucking about. And um, I've come up with my first song. This is the first real one that I've done, that I've written the music to and the words. It's about my nan. My nan used to say to me all the time, because she used to, she'd wrap me up in cotton wool if she could do. She couldn't bear me to be out of her sight and couldn't bear me to be playing with the big boys or doing anything dangerous or, you know, you, you're going to kill yourself on that bike, you know. And uh, she used to say that she um, would come back and look after me when she passed away. And, um, she died a couple of years ago, and um, I, d I just missed the whole event. You know, I just missed it, because it's too much to take on board. She was the most amazing woman that killed me with love. She got that much love for me. And when you go through puberty and, you know, and you're going through that awkward stage and you're resentful and you don't know what you're resentful of, you take it out on the ones you love, you know, and I was angry with my nan, because I could be. You know, I really feel her about these last month or so. I feel her with me. You know, I, I just think that it's befitting that my first song should be about her. And now she lives in heaven But I know they let you out To take care of me and the bomb in the same the whole world knows my name And about it and it The whole world knows my name Today would be a wonderful day if I didn't have to get on stage So I haven't, I haven't got the energy B, I haven't got the inclination And um We've got a three-runner tonight, tomorrow night, and the night after. I'm just fucking... I'm... I'm in no shape to be getting on stage. 